we got some boat work to do and we will start with the screws of our dagger boards which broke some months ago. <laughs> We have some other things to change as well. We now have the updated uh, rudder bearings, rose bearings, exactly to be exact, um, and they are pretty nice. I can show you because um, you can take out the, the bearing. And you have the little ball. We just finished registration and we got a lot of stuff and a lot of work to do now. We got the stickers which we have to apply to the to different parts of the boat so we cannot change them during the regatta and also fill in the serial numbers here. Then we got this really big sticker to attach to the boat and we got the for the blue and the yellow fleet to different bands so they can recognize in which fleet we are sailing because we will sail in two fleets because there are almost 60 starters so one fleet would be really crazy on the starting line and we got two nice t-shirts let's see if they fit yeah so still a lot of work to do today We finished all our boat work and went sailing to check if everything worked because we had to take down the rudder blades and we changed the parts that fix the rudder to the boat so if that breaks it's really a problem but everything worked and we were really happy we tried out our new sails which we will use for the regatta and it was like a totally different boat so tomorrow starts the regatta everything is prepared Today is the first day of the Trofeo Princesa Sofia and it starts with absolutely no wind. That means the EP is on and now I show you where the sailors are standing and waiting and 60 Nacras are stored. One, 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 one shot, now the future is yours, go! Yeah, I was building on the lecture. Versus coming daily under pressure. Working on the plot and the scheme. The true style trademark is at the edge of your dreams. I'm talking one. One shot for the kill. The breeze cut, freeze up. Straight drop in the chills. I'm talking. Taking over pieces and shares. A ball big sky high. Check the movement is here. Yeah. yeah. It's one heart, one shot. Now the future is yours. Go. We had an amazing start, but just when we left the starting line, Daniel's piece broke and he fell off the boat. It was a quite shocking moment, but I think the best thing is when he tells you how it was for him. Yesterday was the worst regatta day for us in history. Um, we ended up almost last in every race. And in the last race, our trapeze hook, so this little thing here, it, it broke and I went for a swim just after the starting line and almost got run over by two boats from the USA but thanks God they reacted very quickly and had good reactions time and they didn't run me over so I am able to sail today.
today is the third day of the regatta. Yesterday we had quite challenging conditions with not a lot of wind. So we were always searching for pressure and we managed to have always two boats behind us but that doesn't help us in the end result so we're still sitting in the last place but we're still fighting to get some boat behind us. We had one really good start and managed to stay really in the middle of the fleet for the first upwind and the first downwind. But at the end of the first downwind, when we came to the mark, there were a lot of other boats and it was so difficult to find a spot where we could pass the mark. So we just ended up as one of the last boats at the end of the mark. And yeah, <laughs> that was a quite interesting experience because we never came to the mark with other boats so we know we definitely have to learn it but it was really great because we came to the mark with other boats Yesterday was a little bit more wind, so around 15 knots, 16 knots, something. It should help us. But we managed to find uh, spots with no wind, and we were sitting in spots of no wind while everyone else was just uh, sailing in double trapeze. And, and we were sitting inside the boat. <laughs> inside the boat, going really slow, but at least we managed to get some some kind of good result in the last race we ended up on 18th place we're quite happy because of that and most important we now know where to work on in the next few months um, we're missing upwind speed and i think if we manage to get the boat sailing fast upwind then we end up better than we did this time So that's it, we are leaving Palma with mixed feelings about the regatta, but now we are off to Austria for one week to rest and do some, some training with weights and um, cardio. 
and then we're off to Lake Garda, our home office, to, to train upwind speed because upwind speed was uh, missing in the regatta and we have to focus on that one. Um, and our next regatta is Kiel, so we skipped the World Cup in Genoa and we skipped the European Championship in Weymouth. Mostly because of Brexit, but also because the lack of speed upwind. So, well, thanks for watching this one and see you on the next one.